Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Windows 11 taskbar is not working properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search icon. And you want to search for services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to locate the Windows Firewall service. and it might be called Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure startup type is automatic and the service status is running. So again, you want to make sure you've done both of those items there. And then once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And you want to search for PowerShell. Best result, check it back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now I'm going to have a PowerShell command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right-click on it. Select Edit. And then select Paste to paste it in. Hit Enter on your keyboard to begin this command. Okay, so once you have blink cursor at the end, don't be concerned if you see a little bit of red, that's okay. You're going to go ahead and close out of here. Go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in CMD. Best result, check them back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now you're going to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. So there you go guys, pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.